I don't know. The St. Charles City Council meeting for Monday, October 7th, 2024. Nancy, please call the roll. Lencioni? Yes. Gem? Here. Petrilla? Here. Rubo? Here. Ezra? Here. Weber? Here. Titus? Here. Folk? Here. Younger? Here. Mun? Tonight's invocation will be given by Alderman Petrilla. <clears throat> It is said, from everyone who has been given much, much, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. May we remember that we have been entrusted with much and never forget that we have been asked by our election to this council to represent the people and their interests. Amen. Amen. Alderman Lencioni, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Thank you, Your Honor. Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. Uh, we do have an award being presented tonight by uh, Chief Keegan. So, Chief, if you would come up to the podium. Thank you, Mayor Vitek. Can I have Officer Patel join me at the podium along with Christian Kochvara and his family if they would like to step forward? This is really a, a, a heartwarming story that I wanted to share with the city. So later this evening, under the omnibus vote, the city council will award Christian's father, Andy, a liquor license for the uh, Moto Art Bar or the Motorcycle Museum on East Main Street. Uh, Christian is a 22-year-old young man, uh, St. Charles resident, 2020 graduate of East High School, was hired as a firefighter in the city of Wheaton on his very first day uh, uh, after, he became, uh, after he was off duty, was involved in a horrific motorcycle accident that I'll describe. Um, he's working towards returning to full duty. The city of Wheaton has allowed him a year to do so, and he's about four and a half months away uh, from reaching his goal. He was just recently fitted for a prosthetic lower leg, and he's doing wonderful. So the events that took place is on February 26, 2024, Officer Deval Patel was dispatched to a call for an accident involving a motorcycle and an SUV at Kirk Road in the south entrance to the Royal Fox subdivision. Officer Patel was the first officer to arrive on scene and immediately noted that the victim sustained a potential life-threatening injury to his lower left leg. As a result of his training, Officer Patel recognized the need to stop the bleeding immediately and provide uh, immediate life-saving measures. Officer Patel noted that a bystander had already used a belt-like tourniquet as a makeshift tour tourniquet and was actively trying to stop the bleeding by pulling it tight uh, to save Christian's life. Officer Patel did not hesitate in stepping up and took immediate action in utilizing his own department-issued tourniquet. Officer Patel applied it properly and stopped the bleeding until the paramedics arrived and took over care. By taking action at the scene quickly and effectively, Officer Patel's actions no doubt aided in saving the victim's life. For his remarkable displays of action and care, Officer Deval Patel was awarded the St. Charles Police Department Life Saving Award. Um, this was done several months ago, and in preparation of Andy's liquor license and Christian's return to duty, we wanted to recognize uh, Officer Deval Patel uh, tonight. Before I ask the mayor to step down for a photo, a uh, Christian would like to uh, make a presentation and say a few words. Christian. First off, I'd like to thank everybody for letting me be here and giving me the opportunity to, to thank formerly Officer Patel for everything he's done for me. Uh, it's without a doubt that what he did for me that day has clearly changed the course of my life and he gave me the opportunity to continue doing what I loved, which is working as a firefighter. Now, after I went to the hospital, um, a few days in, one of my fellow firefighters from Wheaton, who I just recently met, uh, gave me something we call a challenge coin. And so, per tradition, I feel like it would be best suited in Officer Patel's hands, and I want to thank him formally again for everything he's done for me, and this is for you, sir. Again, thank you, everybody.
please. Well, thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to make a motion to approve the omnibus vote. Second. Mm -hmm. Questions? Nance, can you please call the roll? Lencioni? Yes. Yes. Petrullin? Yes. Werbel? Yes. Spencer? Yes. Weber? Yes. Okay. Yes. Both? Yes. Unger? Yes. Thank you. We do have <coughs> any old business or new business, so under committee reports, Government Operations, Alderman Weber, anything further? Yes. Item A10, um, looking to uh, possibly uh, move this uh, the approval of a proposal for the B1 liquor license application for Aqua E Farina. Um, so with that, we can have a discussion on it. Okay, um, does anyone have any questions? I know Chief, Key, this Chief Keegan stepped out, so anyone have any questions? Is that a motion? I think a second. Second? Yeah. Okay. Moved by Weber, second by Lencioni. Nancy, please call the roll. Lencioni? Yes. Gem? Yes. Petrilla? Yes. Corbo? No. Spencer? Yes. Weber? Yes. Locaida? Yes. Polk? Yes. Stunger? Yes. Thank you. Government Services, Alderman Vongard, anything further? Nothing further, Your Honor. Planning and Development, Alderman Lencioni, anything further? Nothing, Your Honor. Okay. Um, do we have any public comments? Okay, I do have a few items. Um, tonight, after the committee meeting, we will be honoring Chief Swanson. Uh, with some cake that's in the back there. So thank you for all those that have attended that have worked with him. Appreciate it. Uh, this will not be the last time we'll recognize him. He has a few more weeks left, so you can't leave after cake. You're still here with us. Uh, it's just cake tonight, Chief. So um, we will be honoring him <coughs> also on his last day will be the October 25th, and then on the on his last day, uh, November 1st at, or I'm sorry, November, then October 25th? October 25th. October 25th. At 3 p.m. at Fire Station 1, we'll be honoring him um, so everyone is welcome. It's a public event. So I hope you all join in recognizing the years that Chief Swanson has put in. This weekend coming up, we have our Scare Scarecrow Weekend. So I know there's many, many Scarecrows this year um, as opposed to in the last few years. So it's supposed to be beautiful weather. So hopefully everybody will come on out for that. On October 17th, the St. Charles Park District will have their Gallery of Ghoulish Home Tours that will begin. And so this is a Halloween decorating contest. Um, it's in its 23rd year, so I know there's some people getting ready, especially on your street, Brian. I believe there's a home getting ready yeah. as of tonight, of building another home upon their home. So um, that's a very great tour, a great tour. So take kids out, take your family out. It's really a lot of fun. And then um, I don't have any birthdays, surprising, except for my son's next week. So, you know, both birthday, which is kind of cool. Anyone on council have anything? Yes, sir. Since we're talking about fire department tonight, I would, would like to thank the fire department for their open house last Sunday. This was the second or third year in the world that we've been there um, in general, but we also had our two-year-old grandson. Just uh, well, It was a beautiful day to begin with, but thank you very much. It turned out to be a great event. Yes, and thank you for that. Does staff have anything? No? Oh, okay. Uh, we already had executive session, so I just need a motion to adjourn now. So moved. Second. Moved by Vesner, seconded by Bongard. Nancy, please call the roll. Lencioni? Yes. Gem? Yes. Petula? Yes. Corbo? Yes. Spencer? Yes. Weber? Yes. Lokaitis? Yes. Polk? Yes. Unger? Yes. 